Hello internet and welcome to CodeBig. In this video, we will be learning how to install React Native vector icons on both iOS and Android. I hope I got you excited, so let's get started. To save some time, I have initialized a new React app by running npx react native init project name. Before we do anything, I want to point out that I am using React Native version 0.69, which is the current latest version. If I open up the React Native announcement for version 0.69, under breaking changes, we can see that in React Native CLI, link and unlink commands have been removed. This means your favorite command npx react native link does not work anymore. Also, if you bump up your React Native version to 0.69 or above, you need to manually add vector icons. In my terminal, if I run npx react native link, it throws an error telling unrecognized command. I also tried other third party packages like React Native Asset for automatically linking vector icons, but I could not make any of them work as needed. If you found a way, for automatically linking vector icons on version 0.69, leave a comment below with the steps. With that out of the way, let's install vector icons by running npm i react native vector icons. Let's switch back to code and look at the contents of app.js. I have removed the default boilerplate code and added some custom code. Here, I'm just rendering couple of icons from material icons. We can run this on iOS simulator by running the command npm run iOS. Once that's done, if we look at our iOS simulator, we can see it throws an error, unrecognized font family material icons. If we dismiss the error, we can see that none of the icons are rendered in our UI. Let's start manually linking vector icons on iOS. First, open the project in Finder and head over to the iOS folder. There, double click on Xcode project file to open it. Next, in your Finder, head over to Node Modules and search for React Native Vector Icons. In there, select the one with vector icon inside Node Modules and not inside Types. Once you are inside the folder, search for fonts. This folder contains all the different icon fonts that you can use in your project. Now you have an option of only selecting a single font from here or you can choose the entire folder. For this demo, we will choose the entire folder. Drag the entire folder and drop it inside Xcode project like this. Leave all the defaults in the pop-up and click on finish. For the next step, head over to code and search for info plist. There add the following code. You can find this in the description as well. Here you are specifying all the icon fonts that you will use in your application. If you are choosing a single font, add only the font icon and save it. In your terminal, cd into iOS and run pod install. This should install all the necessary packages. If we rebuild our iOS app, all should be good and we should be able to see our icons in our UI. With that done, let's check what happens on running the same app on Android. You can do this by running npm run android. As you can see, the icons are not being rendered on Android. Let's manually add vector icons, shall we? To do that, on your code, search for Build Gradle in the project. Select the Build Gradle inside the Android app directory and not inside the Android directory. As you can see, inside your vector icons folder in node modules, you have font gradle file. You will be referencing this file in your app build gradle. The advantage of this step is that the fonts are being copied directly from your node modules at the build time and both fonts and javascript are always in sync. To do that, just copy and paste this code in build gradle at the top like this. 
You can find this in the description below. Here, in icon font names, you can specify only those fonts that you want to copy. Since I want all the fonts, I will be commenting this section out. With that done, the last step is to run our Android app. As you can see, now all the icons are being rendered properly in our Android app as well. To conclude, manually adding vector icon is the fail proof approach on React Native version 0.69 or above. That's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.